Hello everybody, welcome back. I am Crouton and today we're playing Timberborn. Before we get started, I'd like to ask if you could uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and if you enjoy the video, hit the, hit the like button, um, leave a comment, you know, let me know what's what your what your thoughts are. So as you may or may not know, update five came out, which also means that bad water is officially now out and we need to basically start preparing for bad water because at this point in time, if and if slash win, well more like just win, bad water starts to come into our uh, little map here, we will uh, basically probably die almost immediately. Um, we need to figure out either how we're gonna funnel the bad water into a different direction or we're gonna need to figure out how we can block it. Um, and I think at least early on, I'm going to try to cheese it a little bit um, by blocking the bad water. Um, I think that's kind of the only option. What I'm going to suggest we do is some sort of, I saw this on Reddit, basically just block <laughs> block the, uh, the water source because this is where the bad water source is going to come from. And as long as it is blocked, it will basically just flow back off the map um but i think we're gonna need to do like a, a double floodgate um and then we're also gonna want to put the stairs here and we're gonna want to put a, a levee up there to uh, prevent any bad water from flowing over because once it starts it's gonna be probably like seven days worth of bad water um which will be devastating so first we just need to make sure we're kind of in some way prepared at least in a temporary matter, um, temporary manner. Because if if we're if we're not ready, we're gonna be caught with our pants down. I have played a little bit of bad water on my own, uh, my own accord, in my own save, um, and yeah, it's it's not the most complicated thing to add in the game, but it's definitely not the easiest thing to deal with in the middle of a save. It leads to some complications very quickly um, because there's all sorts of new buildings that we have um, that we need. And actually, let's go ahead and we can go ahead and go over that now. Um, so there's this thing called the irrigation barrier, which that they added that basically prevents the soil from getting contaminated and you can place that down like around around the soil or on the ground only um, and it prevents any like any of this uh, produce and uh, whatnot from getting destroyed and uh, contaminated because once the bad water infiltrates the water here if the bad water touches the soil it contaminates the soil and it'll basically kill whatever is in range of the bad water so we haven't got to avoid that they change the explosives and how they're built or how they're what, what you need to create explosives. Um, you need bad water. And now they have three versions of dynamite as well. Um, so it's pretty cool. It just sucks that you need to have bad water to be able to make anything go boom. Because uh, we were definitely on our way there before update five, but we're almost there. And then also for these little irrigation barriers, you need to have, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, treated planks. Also, with these irrigation barriers and with really anything, um, not just irrigation, but with any of these like items that you haven't unlocked, you can actually click on them now and it won't like tell you to unlock it. It'll let you preview it so you can see what it is exactly. So it's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool little UI, um, or not UI, uh, the quality of life thing that they added. They also got rid of um, the medical uh stuff so like the healer or the healer and the medical medicine that you could produce which we had just basically got in the game so we don't really need any of that um i'm also gonna start just unloading all of these storage uh areas or sort warehouses because we don't need them anymore we have all of our warehouses over here and then i'm gonna unpause all of these levees from being built so kind of get these built up as soon as possible 
Um, and I think in the last episode, we were kind of expanding our industrial area here and our food area and starting to kind of move our tree production away from it, which is to say, continue planting corn and whatnot so that we're going to be able to expand our food. Um, we want to make sure that our food factories and our um, fermenters have a kind of a higher priority in the workplace so that they're um, so that beavers are working there because currently it's kind of it, they were they weren't working there so it wasn't as high priority um, which is a bad thing because we're gonna start to run out of food re really quickly if we uh, if we allow that to happen I'm also gonna go ahead and remove this small tank because I think that was also holding medicine uh, and I'm going to add some more kohlrabis over here in our scrapyard district because it looks like we are starting to run out of food again over here. Um, we don't have a lot of food, really. We only have 54 kohlrabis and 196 berries in our entire global area. We can go ahead and turn the small tank into, what's to say, uh, water for now. Um... It's not like there's anything actually in them. Um, and then I think we're also going to want to... I'm just doing kind of quick things here, but we should probably add uh, some steps up here and a ladder up there. And then... Um, and I'm just get some another path up here because I'm gonna add a tapper shack over here because this is these are the um, the pine trees that we're gonna tap into, and we'll get we'll get pine resin from the pine trees. Um, they're the only trees that actually provide any sort of resin. Um, that's how we create treated planks. So we kind of preserve these pine trees here by not putting them to be marked as cut down to be cut down, and that allows us to. Um, use a, the uh, what's it called the tapper shack to get that and so we'll need to we'll need these treated planks eventually for for that bad water stuff um, sorry for the camera movement I'm just making sure that this is getting built um, as quickly as possible it looks like all that's going to be good for now um, I'm also going to expand this levee system to be higher, like all the way to the top. Um, and I would like to actually go ahead and stop this. I'm going to go ahead and um, mark the this uh, or delete these um, these walk pa or these pathways, walkways, whatever. Um, platforms sorry and then i'm going to actually replace them with ladders to go all the way up to the top um, so we don't have any issues accessing any of this um and then i'm going to go ahead and mark up to here as high priority uh and then i plan to i plan to delete the this set levy system here um, and then what I'll do is instead replace it with another triple floodgate. Um, we'll need to mark it as high priority. And unfortunately, until that gets built, <laughs> oh hey boy, um, we need to lower the floodgates all the way. And thankfully, not too much water is going to spill out, but there's just enough. Um, also, over here, we can go to the suspension bridge. Um, add a path there and we're going to go ahead and put in a floodgate but we need to keep in mind that if we activate this floodgate it's going to flood over here and so if this gets to be too high we're going to start to flood all this area and so one of the things that uh, I was thinking about is actually building a levee system over here and kind of creating like a wall, a barrier to allow us to at least expand in here. Um, and then you know, this will keep, this will give us a protected area and we can either, you know, maybe 
at a farmhouse or something so we can plant some more or, you know, whatever. But it at least give us a little protected area for our industrial area. Um, a protected zone for our industrial area. That was a lot of areas in one word or in one sentence. So, you know, switching it up here using my super vast vocabulary. Um, we also need to put platforms in so that we can use this space. Um, but yeah, so I think that's good for now. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and mark these as high priority. Let's actually put them as high, not higher or very high. Um, cool. So that's kind of the basic needs. Oh, also they got rid of dandelions. Um, so we, we can just get rid of this gatherer flag because that's pretty much its sole purpose was to be gathering dandelions. Um, Obviously, we don't need that. Get rid of this storage unit. Uh, and then this one. I know it's pretty fast paced. I'm moving really quickly for no apparent reason. Um, and then what I would ultimately like to do as well is um, I'm going to unlock the bridges and make a make a bridge here and then it replace these floodgates eventually with the steel floodgates that are in the mod. Um, that's obviously something that we're gonna have to wait on. Um, and something else that I think we could do to hopefully help speed things up. Well, actually, no, no, we'll leave it as it is. It's okay. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these. We don't need this. It's not empty, it's not indeed, so we can wait for that to be emptied. Uh, delete these building or these uh, um, platforms and stairs, get those resources back. And then, once all these pine trees are cut down, I'm gonna replace them with corn. Um, also, I kind of forgot to go over all this, but they added this decontamination bed. Um, I, I forgot to go over the rest of this stuff actually. Let's, so let's slow down again. Um, so we had to talk about the, the dynamite. Um, they added a new small gate. Uh, so it's pretty cool. And I mean, you know, you can go over all this if you have the game, but I'll go over as briefly as I can. They added a new breeding pod as well. So this actually allows for um, adult or the advanced breeding pod basically creates adult beavers. So there's no like growing up process. So that's pretty cool. It's obviously a very late game, um, more or later game thing. Uh, obviously it's just due to the unlocking cost, but also it requires extract, which requires uh, bad water. Um, and then in the water section, they added quite a few uh, new buildings. They added a bad water pump. So this is how you're gonna, we're gonna pump out the bad water um, when it does happen. Um, they added a centrifuge, which is how you create the extract. Um, this bad water discharge, which you can basically build over a bad water source and you can close it off. Um, and then the water alarm, I think is part of the mod as well. And then um, I think that's about it for the bad water stuff. Uh, yeah. So they, and then, it, oh, and then there's a decontamination pod, which you'll use to basically make your beavers not sick, um, and decontaminate them. The issue with this is it's also kind of a later thing because you need extract. So obviously like the decontamination stuff is going to be very important. Um, and the centrifuge is very important, but it's not going to happen for a while. And they added some fun things as well. This scratcher is pretty cool. They can, the beavers can like kind of rub themselves on it and um, have some fun doing that. It's good for their happiness levels. Um, swimming pool isn't new. They added an exercise plaza. So they can do like yoga and stuff. Um, they have a wind tunnel here, more fun stuff. Um, a movie theater. And then um, in the well being, they added a few other things as well as a clock um, and a lantern. Actually, I think that was there already. Can't remember. 
Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then a few things were also updated in terms of like UI, uh, not UI, but in terms of design. So like this rooftop plaza has changed, a rooftop terrace. So there's not like only four seats anymore. Look okay, there's quite a few more seats now with a giant fire pit in the middle. Um, and that, so that, you know, there's quite a bit of change that they added, especially for like buildings. Um, it's really cool to see that they're, how much they're adding uh, content wise to the game. Um, no, let's make sure we fill this up really quick so that we don't have any dying trees. Um, or too many dying trees. I really want to blow this uh, area up so that the water levels can be at in sync. Um, so it's not going to require this constant refilling. And then um, let's go ahead and add this corn. And I'm doing leaving this gap here, I think, because I might want to add these decontamination or irrigation barriers um so that we we don't struggle too hard uh but that again like i said is, is kind of something for us later to worry about um for now i'm just going to kind of work with what, what we have um we have quite a bit of science so i think let me see i want to um, make sure we unlock the deep bad water pump even though we're not going to necessarily be able to use it for a little while, it's good to have. Um, not going to wear the centrifuge. Uh, tapper shack. We'll need. Let's see. Science. Not going to worry about this. We will obviously need a decontamination pod, but again, it's not going to be something we can necessarily deal with for now because we don't have extract. Um, so I'm just going to unlock the tapper shack and then let's see, I don't have enough for this yet, but I would like to, cause they're really cute and I want to show you. Um, also what I'm thinking is maybe we should add some storage over here for a like water. Um, actually kind of pointless now. I'm just looking at how slow these guys are moving. I mean, yeah, whatever. I'll worry about it. maybe maybe we'll add that later. Um, I've been in my own save been adding storage for some of the common things that we need as beavers are building bigger projects so that they're able to um, kind of not have to go as far traveling wise to get uh, whatever item they need also for the water and then food so that they have quick access to it. And that's just so that you speed things up becoming and it becomes more efficient. Yeah, this episode is kind of meant to be a preparation for the bad water um, update, but I, I really am I'm not entirely sure what what our plan is going to be, um, because even after we get this installed and built, like where and how are we going to redirect the bad water? My idea, my thought process is that possibly by, you know, adding some sort of mechanism up here where we kind of, in a way, we build this up. Um, so it'll be something like this and then kind of just since we don't have dynamite, at least we do something like this. And then, um, like, unfortunately, all, all, all these trees would die, but at least we would be able to kind of stir the steer, not stir, um, steer the uh the bad water in the correct the correct direction um and then so after we did this you know you'd have this access um and all that water would go into here 
But what that also would mean is that we would need to um, probably build either build this up or you know clear this area out with dynamite which again we don't have um, and using like levees and for floodgates sorry um, and basically blocking the water so like doing something like this and then uh, let's see do I have the tunnel unlocked even if I did I don't but even if I did it I don't think we can afford to build it let me see yeah no well actually no we could yeah it's gonna take a little while but this is my kind of idea for a potential bad water redirection and it'll kind of create like a bit of a of a like pool for the bad water oh yeah so this is what it'll look like if we turn it up well, actually, sort of. I mean, we can't really see it working completely because there's a tree right here. Uh, but yeah, once that tree is gone. Cool. So they're going to get onto building this levee real quick. And that's going to basically now allow us to block the bad water once it does come in. So that's good news. Um, if you want to see what it'll look like, it'll basically look like this. And so there just won't be any way for the bad water to come in because now the water is falling off the map which again straight cheese i know it's it's not i'm not trying to cheese this too hard um it's just what i have to kind of deal with um because i don't want to put ourselves in a situation where we can't recover once our first bad water season hits let me just make sure we don't have any other water potential issues no okay so that's good because like all water sources once a bad water season hits spew bad water and so i know there's another there's another water uh source over here so once that hits this is all going to turn into bad water and it's all going to be gone to waste um and like i don't think you'll even be able to place this bad water discharge down because these are meant for like the actual bad water sources and these are not bad water sources. So by the looks of it, yeah, our plan kind of is in a way only this area when what might be best is we blow up some of the stuff with dynamite. Once we get to that point, or we fill it up, um, which also might not be a bad idea. We also are going to want to probably, let's see, do they, all right. Let's go ahead and put in, make sure plays, or the game's running. Put in a couple ladders here. And what I will do is um, put some, um, put a flag up here, a lumberjack flag, and probably start demolishing or cutting down some of these trees. Um, and getting also gathering the wood for it. I will need to get access up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the ladders up here, like that. Actually, hmm, you know what? Now that I think about it, right? So if we just put that there, what I'm, just, I'm gonna put a staircase here. Oh, that is the wrong way. Let's make sure we build that the correct way. Um, and I think I'm going to try to fill all this in. And I know this might be a dumb idea and an incredibly stupid use of resources, but I think it's not a bad idea. Um, okay, so then... My thought process is uh, basically if we fill this in with levees, we don't have to worry about blowing everything up as more using as much dynamite. Um, we have plenty of logs and also speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and pause some of these uh, lumber mills because we have about 600 planks and that's more than enough I think at this point. 
Um, we have 200 gears and we're not really using much many gears. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause all that. I'll keep two lumber mills on so we create planks, but you know, I don't think we need as much. And then the nice thing is if we fill all of this in, we will have a, uh, it'll be easier for us at least to fill, um, to fill up down here and whatnot, instead of having to like wait for, you know, this little dumb area to fill up and then it's like, this water sits here and what happens to it? it just kind of evaporates, kind of pointless. Oh, there's a drought. So at least it's not a bad water season. Could be much worse. Speaking of what I was just talking about, this is exactly why I'm annoyed with this. So at least it'll be nice to have a filled in area. Just gonna make sure we're all pathed up here. And then, um, just trying to think, it shouldn't roll over there, but you know, just in case, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that there. A little bit more preventative maintenance there. Once we're able to get this kind of built out for the bad water season, we can build our bad water um, pump and then also start prepping for that. So that'll be good. Um, and building like the, or unlocking the further for the bad water uh, requirements um, and getting um, dynamite, so. Yay. How are we doing with power? Let's see. Oh, we have so much power. It's ridiculous. How much corn do we have? 14 corn. So love to see that to grow, but we're waiting for these oak trees to grow up. Um, and this is looking really good too. Let's make sure we're prepared because it's about to drought and we will be running out of water very shortly. We're not running out of water, but you know, you know what I mean? We just have to make sure we're prepared. Um, see all the levees up, perfect. And there goes the water. Look at this new UI, it's so beautiful. Okay, so we have 600 water. We have 90 beavers. Um, and it's a eight day drought. So, hmm, it'll be interesting. <laughs> the numbers don't quite add up, but it will. So I think I'm also going to go ahead and add a another forest over here. And I'm going to plant some more um, trees down. Maybe some more oak trees. And then, let's see. Maybe not to this extent, and make sure we actually have a walkway. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Actually, no, let's get rid of this one. Put that there. We need a path, probably like that. And then we need a forest or a lumberjack flag. Perfect. Oh, we have 11 unemployed beavers. Good to know. I think we should have some sort of emergency water over here though, like a water pump. Um, so let's make sure we do that here. And I'm saying that because you never, you just never know. You just never know with this game. Something happens. Um, you know, I just don't want to risk it for the biscuit. And it's just easier to kind of deal with that. Um, oh, I just realized that this isn't done yet. Shoot. 
That sucks. It's a lot of water. It's just kind of slowly fading away. Come on, beavers. Let's go. Build, 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 build. Come on, you literally have logs right here. Just pick them up here. There you go. Love to see it. Nice. All right. So, once this drought's over, if this isn't built here, then it's going to be a rough time. And what I mean by that is it's going to start to flood over here. Uh, if this floodgate is at one. Um, so our goal is to make sure this is built <laughs> before we get to that point. Because uh, I would like to get this area starting to fill up with water. Um, so we can start to kind of plant more over here. I think I would also like to get more trees down. And then, you know, once all these trees are kind of gone, um, we can have more over there, but then we could also consider moving some of these oak trees over to this area or, you know, something and having more food. Uh, but yeah. Also, how's all this coming along? This looks good. It's coming along too. That's great to see. Um, Surprised they don't need a pathway. If I'm being completely honest. I'm gonna build a pathway on this dam. Over here as well. And then I'm gonna start to I'm gonna put all this back up to regular priority. Because it is time to get this dam set up. We're going to raise these priorities. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and mark these to be destroyed. And so that'll that stuff cut down. Yeah, so I think that that's more than enough for this episode. Uh, I really need to reducing this a bit because it's kind of exce excessive. I need to make my job easier for editing um, purposes. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here. This uh, this is more than enough going on. Um, plenty of plenty of stuff done. We prepared for the bad water. Um, season hopefully that's gonna happen i think uh, after this drought um, we will have our first experience with drought with bad water we just need to get a bad water pump in um but otherwise you know it's it's coming along um i think we're gonna be pretty prepared for it we just it just takes some time um anyways if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Um, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions uh, as to what we could do next with our project. Um, otherwise, uh, hit, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I do appreciate it. Um, I do enjoy it if you interact in the comments. Um, but yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, night, evening, morning, whatever it might be. Catch you all later. Bye.